Coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson. So here he is, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. What a career this man has carved out since his time on The Ultimate Fighter. One season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter and picked up exactly where he left off, dusting qualified lightweights left and right, finishing nearly everyone along his path to contention. Tony Ferguson, at some point, you gotta think, Joe, will find that UFC belt right around his waist. This guy has insanely fast kicking speed and ridiculous leg dexterity. If you are close enough for him to kick you, you've got a real problem on your hands. All right, so as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to the mat, I know I can keep him there. Joe, this guy has a top game as scary as anybody in the game. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, it's a great source of confidence. He'll use the body weight to keep you down and prevent any sort of hip escapes because his hips are so strong. Physical freak who will sap your willpower and your gas tank with the best of them. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Ferguson is four years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LaVey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from Madison Square Garden in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's who is first fighting at the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 25 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, introducing the challenger, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Five rounds if needed for the UFC lightweight championship of the world. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Whoa! Oh, he missed that kick. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, he's home! Oh. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Oh, 
just misses Titan. with the jab. Whoa! The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble. He's trying to hang on and keep his title. He's got him hurt here. Oh, effective use of the jab here, Joe. Oh, he got tagged. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Ferguson's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on He's the mouth. He's move forward. Whoa! This could be it. Nice takedown. Effective punch there by McGregor. He's now back to half guard. Moves to half guard. Excellent movement here on the ground. And he lands a hammer fist. Full mount. It looks like he's trying to isolate that arm here. Just over three minutes to go. And he got it out. Nice punch there by Ferguson. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. How about that chin? That's Ooh, a hard one. Oh, oh, he's got him hurt. He's in big, big trouble here. Oh, straight right. Oh, he caught him with a big punch. Oh. Wow. Conor McGregor just pouring it on, and he wins this fight by KO. Yeah, Joe, beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. Let's see it again. Tremendous force, and that's a wrap. Here it is one more time. Boom! Out cold. And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with style points as he gets the knockout to leave with the gold. We sent it inside the Ladies octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. This contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, all smiles, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, and what a way to get it done here tonight as he gets it done with the knockout. You talk about maximizing a showcase. I'm just not sure he could have done it any better. Smart approach to the fight, and the window of opportunity opened. He closed the show. Congratulations to the team.